Hey, I'm going to quickly review how to create breakout rooms and facilitate and promote quality discussions within them. Let's first look at creating breakout rooms. You need to go onto your actual Zoom website. Under the Settings tab, you will click In Meeting Advanced. There, you must make sure that the breakout room tab is selected. For pre-assigned breakout rooms, where you can place students in groups beforehand, you can scroll up and click on to schedule a meeting. Then you can scroll down to breakout room pre-assign. Here, you can click on the plus sign where it says create rooms, and you can add your groups here. After your breakout room um, button is enabled, and once you start your Zoom meeting, you'll notice you'll now have a breakout room extension at the bottom. To randomly create a room, you can click on the extension, and you can adjust the number of groups and the number of students that are in each group. Then you can click create breakout rooms and the students names will pop up in the various numbers of rooms. I make sure that the second box is unchecked where it says allow participants to return to the main session at any time. If this box is checked, then students can leave the room whenever they want to and it gets rather hectic. After that you have created your rooms and you're satisfied with all the options, then you would click open all rooms. After the rooms are open, the students will get an alert and they may click to join the room. Some ways that I utilize breakout rooms and, and try to promote quality discussions with them is I designate a group leader to track everyone's answers and strategies and ideas. This allows them to help guide the conversations and stay on track. You can also post questions and screenshots of content into the chat feature. So this allows everyone to access the questions and content during the breakout rooms and they don't need to memorize them. Or you have students saying, you know, what were we supposed to be talking about? This cuts down on that. You may also broadcast messages throughout the, all of the rooms about the time remaining. So sometimes I might say, hey guys, wrap it up, you have two minutes. This keeps things moving and you know, gives the students a heads up. Also, um, I, you can uh, bounce around the various rooms. You can join each room for, room for a brief check-in. Uh, this, this allows for a quick formative assessments and, you know, it allows the students to, uh, to know that you care what they're doing and, you know, value their contributions. Um, how I utilize breakout rooms in ELA and math. In ELA, after we do a shared reading, um, we have focus questions, vocabulary analysis, uh, research groups meet within the breakout rooms. Uh, we have book discussions and you can share projects and presentations. And one of the cool features inside of the breakout room is students can utilize a screen share within the breakout rooms if they want to share what they've been doing or what they've been working on. In math, we do uh, three act tasks, uh, warm ups, previ practice questions, and small group feedback from previous submitted, submitted tasks. For math, students can uh, you know, enjoy sharing, comparing answers and strategies. So for ELA, a setup may be, you know, we might read a short excerpt from Hatchet, and then the breakout room discussion was what was the tone conveyed in the text and what is your evidence? And then I would have a group leader track everyone's responses. In math, I would have a three act lesson linked in and we have a whole group unpacking what they do in the breakout rooms and then a whole group kind of wrap up. Also, I might post a Prevy question. I can screenshot this, put it into the chat and then be ready to share out and your group leader would track your answers and strategies. All right, well, I hope this helped.